on the Las Vegas Strip. Let's get him to check it out. See how the city is prepping for the Super Bowl coming this Sunday. This is the world famous Las Vegas Strip. I've lived in Vegas now for for 11 years. Prior to that, I lived in Los Angeles for 12 years. Vegas is home now. Super Bowl. It's so much more vibrant at night. But I just wanna show you guys my beautiful city. Right there is the Cosmopolitan. Right there is Aria. That's Planet Hollywood right there. What a beautiful city. What a magnificent city. So as much as I can, I like taking you guys on these little tours of where I am. I'm home right now. I head back to Denver tomorrow. Fortunately, I'm going to miss the Super Bowl. So I'll be at work in Denver. It's just based on my schedule. It was really out of my hands. I looked up flights on Super Bowl weekend. Airlines are like, Anywhere from eleven $1 hundred to twelve hundred dollars round trip. So as a result, I'm gonna miss the Super Bowl in Las Vegas and just gonna enjoy it in Denver, Colorado. So the topic of today's video is emergency travel certificates. Emergency travel certificates. For those of you with expired Nigerian passports or expired Nigerian visa looking to travel from the United States to Nigeria, you are going to need, in lieu of a new passport, you can get yourself the emergency travel certificate. Let me show you something quickly. Okay, so in 2020, when my dad passed away in San Antonio, Texas, I made a decision to fast track my dad's funeral. I had to, you know, my dad, my father was cremated and this was during COVID-19. And uh, I decided to fast track his funeral in Nigeria meaning I had to get everything done within five months. From the moment, from the time he passed away through the cremation process and the funeral in Nigeria, in the village, it only took five months. And prior to that, I hadn't traveled to Nigeria in years. And my passport, my Nigerian passport was long expired. And I was at a time crunch. It was either apply for a new passport and take the risk of waiting and just hoping that your passport arrives in time or get what is called an ETC, an emergency travel certificate from the Nigerian consulate here in the United States. The better option was the, was the ETC because I know it was something that I can get faster and if I'm willing to travel to Atlanta, I live in Las Vegas, I'm willing to travel to Atlanta, 
I can receive it the same day. So I chose to, I mean, my trip was actually fast approaching and I needed, I didn't want to take the risk of trying to or attempting to get into the country with one, an expired passport and two, with no documentation backing it up. So I booked a one day round trip to Atlanta from Vegas. Flew out of Vegas that morning, went straight from the airport to the embassy in Atlanta, waited to get processed, and I received my emergency driver certificate that same day. And from the consulate, the embassy, I took rideshare, I took Uber straight to the airport flew back home and then within a couple of days later I was in Nigeria so why am I telling you this I received a a whatsapp message from a friend of mine in Lagos asking about the ETC she wanted to know my you know she kind of wanted to pick my brain on it and it just so happened that she had hired someone in Nigeria to file the ETC on on behalf of her sister in Canada so whoever this person is ended up filing this emergency travel and it's, if you can't file an emergency travel certificate on behalf of somebody the traveler themselves have to file it on their own behalf like I can't go and ask someone hey help me file my ETC it doesn't work like that so the traveler has to file the ETC themselves so this individual now keep in mind that the traveler is in Ottawa Canada the filer the consulting filer is in Nigeria and then they filed they filed this emergency travel certificate in the United States from Nigeria on behalf of the traveler in Canada. So how does that make sense? It doesn't really make any sense. And the moment I saw that, I knew that it was fake because it's impossible for you to be in Nigeria to file documentation in the United States for somebody who lives in Canada that's traveling to Nigeria who isn't even going to the United States. So when I read the, the, the certificate, it shows US consular, Atlanta, Georgia, how is that even possible when the traveler is in Ottawa, Canada and there's a consulate in Canada? And it also says that the traveler is certified to depart out of a United or out of any United States city. How so when the traveler is in Ottawa, Canada flying directly from Canada to Nigeria? So then why would you file an an, an emergency travel certificate for someone to depart in the US who is departing from Canada. Does this make sense? It does not make any sense. So the moment I saw that, I knew immediately that it was fake. And at this point, I don't know the status of the traveler, if at all they, you know, I told my friends to keep me in touch. If at all the documentation would be accepted in Canada, that shows that it was filed in the United States. But anyway, that is to be determined. But the point that I'm trying to get to you here is you do not have to, and again, my audience are Nigerians abroad. If you're looking to go to Nigeria on, and you have an expired visa or an expired passport, you can still travel to Nigeria. But the only way that I see that you can access the country is through this emergency. Now, if there are other ways, that are out there, I'm not sure about. I can't really endorse those. But what I can endorse is obtaining this ETC. Because that ETC is going to accompany your expired Nigerian passport. So at the city that you are crossing from, in my own case, I flew from Vegas, to Atlanta, 
from Atlanta to Lagos. I had to show my U.S. passport because I'm a dual citizen. I had to show my U.S. passport in Vegas, my Nigerian passport, and my emergency travel certificate. I doubt that they would have allowed me to fly if I didn't have those three. You are going to need it. The emergency travel, don't let anybody lie to you and do not risk trying to go to Nigeria with just an expired passport. You need to get that ETC. It's only $100. It's going to save you a lot of headaches. It's going to save you a lot of unknowns. And you know how it can be, especially when you get to Nigeria. You've been traveling for four hours. You just want to get there, go through customs, and be on your way. You don't need anyone harassing you in the United States or abroad or harassing you in Nigeria. You have to have all your ducks in a row when it comes to these things. It's very, very important. If you are in the United States, it's easy. If you are close to Atlanta, it's even easier because you can go to the U.S. consulate and get this certificate in one day. So then that way you are fully prepared to travel to Nigeria. Don't fall for consultants who will reach out to you to try and file on your behalf. It's absolutely unnecessary. You can do this on your own. And the reason why I'm sharing this is because I don't want you to have to go through what this individual could potentially face because the documentation just doesn't match. The departure country that's on the ETC says the United States, but the departure country of the traveler is in Ottawa, Canada because this particular document was filed by some consultant in Nigeria. So the moment you get to Nigeria and you cross into the country, the U Nigerian customs is going to take custody of that certificate and allow you through. All you have to do then is take your expired Nigerian passport, walk into any Nigerian consulate in Nigeria. I went to the one in, uh, um, in Uyoa, Kwaibom State. There's one in Lagos, obviously. There's one in Abuja. Because me, I was traveling to Uyo, Akwaibom. So, so I was traveling to Akwaibom State. I went to the, to the Federal Ministry of, I forget the name of it, in Uyo. And I obtained a new Nigerian um, passport valid for five years so mine will expire in 2025 i obtained it in 2020 i think i paid like 50 dollars or so the equivalent of 50 dollars it may be more now though with the exchange rate being almost 1500 naira so that's what i wanted to share with you guys hope you guys enjoy a nice little review of las vegas and uh any questions about travel to Nigeria let me know I don't consider myself a travel expert but I have traveled the world enough to know that it's better to err on the side of doing the right thing than to err on the side of taking risks especially when it comes to international travel thanks for watching like share and comment take care